Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. Thanks for watching another video here. And we're back working on the second gen project. And as you already saw, we were kind of working on the four link kit. It finally came in. Uh, got over work last night, it was here. So I already unboxed it and I started messing with it, blah, blah, blah. But I asked them, uh, when I ordered it, I asked them, hey, can you guys, you know, leave some, you know, I don't need you to fab up all the parts and everything. So, you know, to help speed up shipping wise, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, we can do whatever. But the only thing that really didn't fab was weld on these four uh, two inch DM tubing on the end of these these bars here. So that's what I did. Nothing special, just uh, schmooked them on there. They're strong. They, uh, their welds definitely look better than mine. But, you know, uh, this is uh, something I've really done before. But anyway, first impressions, awesome kit. Um, this is, instead of going with Heinz, this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be driving this truck more, uh, you know, on the street. I want a better ride feel. And I think that these rubber, rubber bushings will give me a little, a little softer ride. That's what I'm looking for because I kind of want this, this truck to be, you know, maybe maybe not so much a daily, but, you know, a smooth riding truck to take out on the town, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, so we got those. These are the parallel brackets. One, two. These are the parallel for the axle. Uh, I have a four-inch axle. That's a four-inch cutout. So there's not a lot to it, but this here let's let's go out to the truck real quick so in this place so these are gonna go roughly here somewhere uh don't know exactly yet but the bars i think should be about 40 inches on center i haven't measured them actually but anywhere in yeah, 40, 42, 38, anywhere in there that'll work fine. Um, but anyway, first brackets here, obviously the axle will be back there. Um, now, with this frame, this this rear uh, member, this is quarter inch thick. This here's only only eighth inch. So I'm gonna take some uh, some 3 16 plate, and I'm just gonna make a little, make a, uh, you know, a stiffener that this will weld onto, and this whole thing will weld to the frame. So, anyway, we're moving right along here. Uh, next step is I'm gonna come over here. We don't need these leaf spring perches, so they're gonna have to come off. Uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of all unnecessary things that are gonna be in the way for right now. But once we take all that off, put up, up. Once we take all that off, then I can throw the axle in here, uh, get everything kind of mocked up, maybe tacked up. Um, I didn't realize, I don't know, uh, the airbags should be here Monday, which I emailed them earlier this week, like, hey, what's the status of the order? Next day I get a uh, tracking number, so, you know, it's like, uh, I forgot. Uh, one thing I'll add, if y'all are interested in this four link kit, this is from Infamous Metal Fab. Awesome. Talked to the guy. He set me up. So, I'll put a link in the description if you want to, I'll put a link to the actual four link kit. He has a bunch of other stuff to offer. If you guys are uh, doing some kind of project, you know, for me, this, this was much easier than me trying to make the whole thing myself, you know? So anyway, if you guys are looking for anything like that, I'll put a link in the description. Let's get back to work.
so been moving right along here uh, it's a lot more thinking than it is anything else but I think it looks freaking sweet mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. um, the truck will be I don't know exactly where, where I want the truck to ride yet, but this is where the um, axle will be at now. So from center to center of my bars, I think it's like 44 inches is what it is. Um, no big deal, doesn't matter. Um, but I think they look sweet. So now I'm just kind of trying to figure out uh, you know making sure that my measurements up top there are the same from this point you know outside to outside inside to inside whatever um just making sure all my measurements are the same i'm gonna i'm gonna take go ahead and take the tires off and it makes it a little easier to move around put this up on um <clears throat> on little jack stands so i can budget back and forth but yeah we're uh, moving right along now one thing i will have to order is some pipe for my pan hard bar um, but that will be a little bit down the road yet, um, as far as, uh, before we need it necessarily, but I don't know, I'm just kind of working, making sure my, you know, I'm measuring twice, three times, four times, making sure that everything's, you know, nice and square. So that way when it's riding down the road, it tracks, it tracks good. But even though, you know, if, if I'm a little bit off, we also have some adjustment, obviously, in the bars um, on each side. So we're okay there. So anyway, I'm just kind of, right now, I'm just checking, make sure that what we have is what we have. And yep. <laughs> you ma'am can I help you huh hey can I help you all right so let me get some better light here it's been several hours since the last video clip um, I've kind of been just kind of looking at this scratch my head thinking like you know what's the best plan going forward um, you know what what can I do next and what should I do next so anyway uh, I can't remember where I left off um, but anyway cleaned everything up because I'm kind of out of stuff to do right now um, strange but I'm out of stuff to do so dogs are attacking me but anyway here's just a uh, quick rundown Got a 316th plate um, behind the bracket. Yes, you're checking it out too? All right, cool. Um, behind this bracket for extra stiffening. Instead of this this plate being welded to, this here's only eighth inch right here thick. So instead of this being welded on eighth inch plate where it could, um, you know, pull on it more, you know, it'd be easier to tear through eighth inch than it would be three sixteenths, obviously. But we're just kind of distributing the load with this other plate here. So that's what that's for. Um, awesome kit so far. I mean, it's been 
straightforward, nothing, nothing too hard about it. You know, it took time of measuring, you know, overall from outside to outside, make sure they were the same. And then I measured from back of this axle flange, I guess you call it, to here. So that everything's, everything should be ready, set, ready to roll going forward. So my problem is I thought I had a bunch of quarter inch plate laying around and I don't. So this week I'm going to, Monday morning I'm going to call, order, get a bunch of steel for, for this and a couple of uh, upcoming projects we can work on. So I'm going to have to wait on that. But um, in the meantime, airbags should be here next week for this for the rear. Uh, that's all that I ordered for this. But I'm going to order everything so we can get airbags done, panhard bar, basically almost uh you know next video next project of this uh <clears throat> next video of this project excuse me uh we should be able to uh mm, i'm gonna say completely finish up the rear end but get most of it done that's what i'm trying to do just trying to get this to where i can i can pick the truck move it around and then i can work on the front end so like i said next project video we should be have a lot more going on to me, it felt like I did a lot, but in, it doesn't look like much. But you know, I, I believe I uh, I knocked out a bunch of what uh, what I could get done anyway. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the next video. Hopefully, we we'll have a lot more going on, and uh, I'm getting excited about this project. I don't know if you are or if you even care, but I'm getting excited, and I just figure, hey, you know, I'm sure somebody else out there wants to do this or might want to try this or whatever. And I figure, hey, if I work, if I can make a video, yeah, it might help somebody out. So thanks for watching. And 